More than 40 guests were evacuated after flames erupt at a Rockbridge County bed and breakfast. We have incredible video sent in to us this morning. Take a look. It happened at Good Place Farms Bed and Breakfast in Lexington. Owner Justin Peary says the fire started around 10:30 last night. More than 40 people were staying at the business at the time of the fire. The bed and breakfast is a converted barn that was built in the 1800s. Fire crews tell us everyone staying inside was safely evacuated, escaping injury. Now, this morning we are hearing from Rockbridge County's emergency management coordinator, Robert Forsman. Good morning, Robert. What can you tell us about this fire investigation? You were there on the scene. The video that we've seen, uh, it just it shows how massive this fire was. Well, it really was. We got the call about 11 o'clock on Saturday night, and uh, units responded and were on scene within probably seven to eight minutes. And uh, by the time we got here, uh, the structure was fully involved. All the guests had gotten out. Most of them had come in from out of town uh, for a wedding today. Wow. And, you know, as a firefighter, emergency crews, when you're heading to a fire like this, you know that 40 people could be inside. You know, what are you thinking and how are guests doing? Well, the guests are fine. Um, the Red Cross is, is here helping them. They just finished up with them as far as getting them a place to stay. Um, for the next couple of days. And you know, Rachel, when we first uh, got on scene, it was very quick from the dispatchers. They did a great job of providing the information and letting us know that everybody was out safely. That's wonderful. Now, I read on their website that this is an 1800s built converted barn. So I'm sure a lot of wood in this structure. Do you think that, that fueled to these massive flames that we see? Well, I'm sure it did, um, and you know, anytime you've got a structure that old that's been converted, uh, all that wood in there, especially from the 1800s, it's going to burn very quickly. Absolutely, and we know this is a total loss. Um, do we have a cause of the fire? Do we think it's accidental in nature? No, we don't at this time. Uh, Right, so they, they're still investigating the fire, and uh, it may be a couple of days because actually uh, part of the structure is still burning under all the tin where the roof caved in. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time, Robert Forsman. We appreciate it, and we're certainly glad that everyone is safe. Thanks. Now, we'll continue to follow this story throughout the day. And when we're not on the air, be sure to visit us at our website, WSLS.com, for the latest updates.